take the world. Take the world. Take the world. Take the world. All right. Welcome back to Ringtober. Today's horror, tonight's, today's horror movie, or tonight's, I believe, tonight's horror movie, Brightburn. Brightburn of 2019 that was released in. And a story about this kid, a kid who comes from outer space that's an alien, it's like the stylish of Superman, that they live on a barn. Uh, this kid named Brandon, who was 12 years old, was found out answers that he was uh, not adopted, and then, like, uh, he found, like, this spaceship that had a voice calling to it, and then he started to act crazy when, like, people were, like, when he's, like, appearing in places, and then, like, he starts to get, like, creepier. It's like, this is not, like, a rip-off of Superman. Is it like that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's, it's like a horror version of Superman, but it isn't. Like, because it's, like, how the story is. A kid comes from outer space, and these parents take care of him, and then it's like, he becomes like Superman. But it is an alien movie. Brightburn is an alien film. Like, because you rem remember, Superman is an alien. Like, he's not human, he is an alien. And, I mean, I mean, but it's the kid named Brandon, Brandon Byers, is not Superman, but he's a little bit of the stylish. Like, his kryptonite's not his weakness or something. Or maybe there is if Brightburn did make a sequel. Well, here's what I'll say. Brightburn is a gory, brutal, gruesome film. Like, this film has interesting story into it. But it's not, like, scary enough, but it is worth of an interesting film. Like, this is, like, worth interesting to watch. And it has very good, like, techniques into it of, like, like flying superhero stuff. Like, it has a good dark twist. And good, like, jump scares. Like, this film has very good jump scares. Like, this is, like, worth of scare. Sorry, I got something in my teeth. Sorry about that. Uh, it has, like, good, like, directing. Like, very good directing. And James Gunn, a.k.a. the, the producers of... The, no, no, no. The directors of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2. James Gunn produced this movie. And I re really get, got interesting of how the ending's gonna be. And, like, like, maybe there could be a sequel, like, called Brightburn 2 or something. Maybe that's something like that. And with Brandon, with his character, his was, like, very, very interesting with the lines he had, like, Take the world. Take the world. <gasps> with laser eyes coming out. Something like that. And I liked how the music was when it's like... Usually. But it doesn't get, like, too much... Like, say, this is favorite. Like, this doesn't get really favoritable enough. And it it does get kind of bit exciting, but, like, when he seems... Like, when Brandon appears in his masking, like, when he appears at some... At a person, it'll be like, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Like, this would get you very suspicious. Like, you'll probably be like, oh, this is about to happen. Oh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. It's like, you can't look. You don't want to look. It's something that. So... That's probably all I'm going to have. I'm going to give Brightburn a 5 out of 10 and a B. Minus. I'm going to give Brightburn a 5 out of 10 and a B minus. Like, I mean, the screenplay was fine. The cinematography is good. Like, really, really good. The score was very interesting. The song, the songs are good. Uh, just not like the best horror superhero. Not the best horror movie. Not the best comic book movie. Because I am going to still count as... Brightburn, a comic book movie, and, uh, yeah, that's literally that, so it's a 5 out of 10 and a B minus, like I said, so, that is all I got, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, bye-bye.